All right, well, I figure I might as well give you something. It's five o'clock. About to eat the other half of my ponchos because no Mexican taco shop. Poncho, same thing, same company. But I, uh, I ran there after I left. I went and got gas in the big truck. Then I called ahead and got Mexican taco shop. So I ate my burrito when I came home, crashed. That was it. Now, uh, today I've been up, phone calls, everything else. That's just not had a busy day. She's sleepy, Devgan. You can always tell her certain lay where she's exhausted and tired. Got so much stuff done. Eating. Got to get back to some stuff on this. More printing out stuff. Got stuff printed out. Got stuff more set out. Got the filing cabinet. All kinds of stuff. Got that stuff fixed with my pension. It, yeah, they dropped it in the mail today. So after all the phone calls for that, I got resolved. We'll just double check it when they get here. Um, more things figured out about taxes. Just lots of stuff. Just, you know, got up and just kind of hit the ground running. So, oh, got my quarter zips. Uh, they're getting shipped. Well, they're getting shipped to him so he can put those on for that. Rocking and rolling, man. Getting things going. The sale. The sale is shipping. The ship has sailed. <sighs> okay. Debating on right now taking a bath or just a shower. I haven't decided yet since I got those Epsom, Epsom, Epsom salts. Uh, I'm done in here for the night. It's. Uh, 10.15 I still got more stuff to do I'm oh, such a headache all this paperwork and everything not fun but <laughs> yeah we've learned a lot and exactly why my mom said uh, she's not doing my taxes anymore because I agree just partial stuff that I've been doing even for this year is already a headache and that's what not even two months in and it's a headache so I'm getting this final bit organized for this everything else will be great with that app is gonna take a huge load off me but I gotta do more figuring of uh, still got probably all day in my home office again tomorrow and hopefully I think by the time I'll be done because I went through all my emails Got stuff redistributed, reorganized, compiled. So much printing today. Jeez. Felt like I printed out half a tree. Sorry, nature. Um, necessary groundwork, especially while I'm waiting on some other things. So, trying to get as organized and detailed as I can. That is huge to me, and that is such a lifesaver. It's taking things into your own hands, into your own matters. Like, you got to do that. Because if, if you don't have things under control and in your control, it's going to be chaos. Like, I have, I have chaos, but it's organized chaos. And it's learning along the way. Like, so we're learning so much stuff, and it's a constant process. But it is beautiful at the end of it, because... When you're in more control of every aspect of your life, you have more control in your life and you feel better. You feel like you have that control. You feel like life is something you have a grasp on instead of majority of people are just floating and don't know what's going on and just they never have an actual handle on what they're doing and why they're doing things. And that is huge. It gives you that confidence. And that confidence is huge. I think confidence is one of the biggest things. The biggest bail blessings, advantages, everything that you can do. And the best part is your confidence is in your hands. It's your ability. That's the best part is that confidence is your responsibility. Nobody can give it to you. Nobody can take it from you. Just like self-happiness, self-confidence. Confidence, confidence can help you rule the world. And when you have confidence, I believe happiness 
goes hand in hand with confidence. You have those two things, you can take over the third thing, and that's the world. Master confidence and happiness. Master them, and you will master your life.